I first read Shifting Gears back in 2010. And I remember reading it and thinking, wow, this is a great film. This, this is the kind of film I grew up watching. This is the kind of film that I want to make. It's big and it's funny and it's make me laugh and it's make me cry. And it's all these different thematic elements that really kind of turn me on. The film that we just made, you know, on a good day, we were up against impossible odds. We're talking about 100 plus people working together at a given time and each one of those uh, positions is integral to be successful. And as a director, it's my job to make sure all that's working properly in order to, to get what I need on film and to tell the story we set out to tell. You know, 20 years from now, we'll look back and say, wow, what a ride. That was crazy, and look what we made. And, and I think that the film that we made is timeless, and that was a choice. You know, there's not a lot of technology in the film. There's not a lot of things that date the movie. You know, it's, it's old themes. Wow. Right? That is a piece of junk now. <sighs> Gonna have to get a tow truck. What, no, Dad, come on, let me have it. Let me have it, please. Please. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. If okay. you can get that running. Well, I'll get it running. That's no problem. It's yours. What? Yes! Ah! You, you know, it's that it's that coming of age story. It's that the sins of the father fall onto the son and, and, and trying to figure that out in families and in the relationships and then also this kind of bigness to the comedy all set within this fantastical world of, of dirt track racing and you know, North Carolina, which it has its own character and its own textures and you know, we wanted to be true to that. Get back out there and give me twenty more laps. Jeremy, you're in front. Tom, I want you to work on passing, okay? Make him work for it, Jeremy. Are you ready to start racing yet? Um, but I think that just being in North Carolina, you can't help but being surrounded by racing and, and what it means to this community and how it is that red dirt and that it just lives in this area, you know, from the bootleggers on to NASCAR. And I think that um, you can't make a race car movie anywhere but North Carolina, truthfully. And I, I think that it's a great plot device, so to speak, because it's metaphorical for working hard to keep something together, to keep fighting another day, you know, and I think that that's what these guys do every weekend. That every weekend it falls apart and every, you know, all the, during the week they put it back together and they go out for one more shot. And I think it's a great metaphor for life because I think that's what we all do. I mean, I think that just life in general is constantly throwing you curveballs, and I think that good stories have messages and the messages are, you know, one, take time to reflect. And so in shifting gears, Tom needed to stop and smell the roses for a minute and and see his family for what they were and not what he thought they were. And I think, you know, the metaphor of the race cars is, you know, things break, but you put them back together. And the green flag drops. It's game on. Jeremy Williamson on the high line. Pulls close, but can't overtake Brick. Go, go! Woo! I got you. Okay. All right, I got you. I got you. Williamson getting pressure from Bo Lucas. But now it's his turn to slam the door. Come on. You're not going to take this one, Brick. Jeremy has his eyes on that 10th spot. I'm, I'm very blessed and grateful that I had a chance to be a part of the Shifting Gears team and to, and to direct this film. I think that at the end of the day, the stars align and we made something really special. <laughs>